Tessa. I work with the Good House video team. And today I'm gonna take you along as I organize and sort through all of my craft supplies. As a big maker of things, I have a lot of materials. I like to paint, I like to embroider. Anything I can get my hands on, I like to work with. So before everything of mine was so nicely organized, I had a whole corner of chaotic mess. So it was time to just get rid of a lot of things and organize it nicely. First thing I did was assess my chaotic situation and get rid of mostly everything furniture-wise that was there. The only things that I really wanted to keep was this wire rack, which I found on the street and it's a little janky, but two of the cubes work really well, so I used those and I took off some of the like the grates that I came with. I used to store my paints on with some clothespins. It's easily accessible, it looks nice on the wall, and it lets me know when I'm, you know, if I'm done with the paint and I need to get another one, it's right there. I can see what I have, what I still need. Very easy to, to use. And it's like encouraging, it's there. Um, it makes me want to paint a little more. After I clipped all of my paints onto this grid, I thought it would be really helpful to paint the clothespin the color of paint that it's holding. First thing I did was prime each clothespin with just some white acrylic paint. And then I went over that with the paint of the gouache that it's holding just an, a nice thick layer of it so I knew what color it was and it turned out really nicely. I put it up on the wall and it kind of serves as its own little art piece. Functional art. Literally. So the next thing I had to do was figure out what I'm going to store all of my supplies in. I ended up going with this shelf thing that I got from Wayfair. Wayfair calls this a two drawer accent cabinet. It came very well packed. It took us about an hour to two to put it together. And once it was together, you know, I, I took everything out and I put it in and it looked really nice. And I thought, this could work. This could definitely work. The next step was to find bins that I liked that I thought could organize. I ended up going with these acrylic bins that I found online. They're just like clear, they've got little handles on them and they stack uh, nicely on top of each other, which I really liked. I put my embroidery threads, which I so nicely sorted out, as you can see here. It took a very long time and I had already had these little organizer bits here. I thought maybe I could consolidate from three to two because I don't have that many threads. And then in the third one, I can put all of my little sewing, like tiny needles and pins and uh, sewing foots that I have. I have so many tiny things for sewing, so I thought, why well, don't I do two for the embroideries and one for all my sewing bits, which worked out actually very nicely, and I'm really happy that it that it did. That first drawer is mostly just like thread and sewing stuff, which is nice because it now has a home to live in. This was one of my favorite things I did. I color coded all of my markers. So I used to have them by kind and not by color. And it didn't really, it wasn't really making any sense for me because I'll be like, oh, I need a red pen. And I'll have to like sort through four different bins to find the perfect red pen. So I took some cardboard and cut them the size to fit in as little dividers, really nifty divider trick. Um, and I separated all my markers into colors. So now all of my reds and pinks are in one space and blues and greens and just kind of goes on. And it's actually uh, really nice and helpful. So that I'm really excited about.
These are my other paints that I have. Most of them are watercolors and some of them are oil paints. First I sorted through them all to get rid of any paints that were dried out or unusable or had little to none left. The ones that were left over, I sorted them by kind and color and I put them uh, top down into this three divider acrylic bin I have. It's really useful because I can see all the colors that I have. Putting them upside down makes them easy to grab. I know how much paint I have left. Um, it's stacked really nicely on top of the other bins that I got. With the same bin that I used for these paints, I used my second one to sort out my pens and some pencils. At first I had these mixed in with my markers and it got a little confusing, so here I just put in one divider felt pens, like thin line micron markers that I, I use for like line drawing and stuff. Uh, the next one is just regular pens and gel pens. And lastly, I put all my pencils and lead-based um, drawing materials, like smudgers and, and big lead sticks. And this I actually ended up just putting right on top of my desk because I reach for these pretty often. The last step was to label everything. So what I did was just cut some uh, cardstock paper into little rectangles, decorate it with some of the washi tape that I have, and write down what's in all the bins and just stick them on. This was a very important step because I wanted to know where all of my things were um, without having to rummage through everything. I just wanted to look at it, know what's in that box, take that box, and use it. It was a fun little art project to do while organizing all my art supplies. Organizing all my things has been very helpful. I am able to know what I have, know what I'm missing, know where it is, and can put it back nice and neatly so when I'm done with the project it's not a chaotic mess everywhere. I think it turned out really nicely. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Good Housekeeping where you can find more fun organization videos like this one. Let us know what you'd like to watch next and thanks for watching. Thank you.